Kevin? <laughs> Thanks, hey. Can I at least hug you? I, I miss you so much. I've missed you too. But first, you said you had some information for me? Uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's a witness. The FBI found someone who's ready to come forward against Edgar. Who's the witness? I, I don't, I don't know. I didn't get a name. But information's not the only reason why you wanted to meet me, right? Kevin, Edgar and the rest of the farm don't think you can be trusted. Of course, I mean, if you found out who the witness was, I mean, that might change things. Get the name, and then we can be together. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll try. Good. You know how to reach me. Kevin. Now's not a good time, Fangs. I'm waiting for my grind of day. <laughs> Look, I'm not stalking you. I'm just picking up a couple burgers. But I want to apologize uh, for what I did to you. I was under Edgar's control. Thanks. I get it. I was brainwashed by Edgar, too. But that doesn't mean we should get back together. Can we just go on a date and see what happens? Sorry, my day just got here. Hi, are you Terry? I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you. Listen, do you want to get out of here? I have a room at the Five Seasons, unless that's too forward. No, not at all. Would I always have to work with Daryl? Daryl's popular. But no. Why? Did you have someone else in mind? Before I say what I'm about to say, Fangs, I want to make one thing clear. This is not about me wanting to get back together. Understand? I've heard better opening lines. I have a proposal for you. It's good money. On-camera work. It's a little weird, but will be infinitely less weird if I do it with someone I know. On camera? <laughs> what are you talking about, Kevin? Just promise me you'll keep an open mind, okay? It's dead. Thanks. Tell me you're not selling drugs again. Tony, Kevin and I started this little side hustle. And don't worry, it's nothing illegal, per se. What kind of side hustle? It looks lucrative as hell. Is this something I can get in on? What? Where the hell am I? Who the hell are you? I bet you say that to all the boys. It's okay. Yeah, we understand. Things got pretty wild last night. You wanna see? You and the boys here made a little video. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Nick is what we in the tickle business would call a first class wheeler. <laughs> I propose a toast. To Tony Topaz, who slayed yet another dragon from my past. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Hmm. Late breaking news. I am now singing Oh What a Beautiful Morning from Oklahoma for the variety show. What happened to Hedwig? Honey nixed it. Said it was too controversial. Oh, Kevin, if, if you want to do Hedwig, you should do Hedwig. He'd yank me off stage before the first note. Hell, I don't even think you should wait for the variety show. I think you should go rogue. Go rogue in what way? They try to tear me down. What's the scam? We make tickle videos for a guy named Terry. Hmm? And before you assume the worst, it's not sexual. No clothes come off at any time. It's like an endurance sport. And this Terry guy pays you? Yeah. And a lot more than dealing. That's weird as hell, boys. But do you think Terry could use a guy like me? Okay, 
That was seriously one of the best videos we've made yet. Good work. So you have a great laugh. You know, it's not a bad idea, Kevin. Look, I'll take care of the rest. Getting the equipment, recruiting us some new talent. This is gonna pay for our community college education, boys. So what's next? Graduation. Carnegie Mellon. So, I got into the University of Pittsburgh. You did? You wanna go there? Why? Because they gave me a scholarship. And because it's close to Carnegie Mellon. I wonder what it would be like for us to date somewhere that's not in Riverdale. I've been, I've been wondering that too. And maybe we find out. Yeah, maybe we do. So, do you think Reggie was right that it was Terry that called Mr. Honey? Probably. I mean, how else would Mr. Honey find out about a clandestine tickling ring?